Oh my gosh. Has it not been a hot freaking minute? I think the last time posted on YouTube was two months ago, three months ago. It's in May and it's August now. So yeah, like about two months ago. No, it might have been three months now. I promise you guys, I've been meaning to upload. I've been, I've been filming. I filmed two videos in the past two months, in the past three months to, for you guys to upload. And I just never got, a, I even like got them onto my laptop and I just never got to editing them. And I ended up just deleting them because they weren't like the videos that I want. I do, it, I, it, whoa. It wasn't the first video that I wanted to like upload from being gone for so long. So um, here we are now. So hopefully that doesn't happen again, but I can't promise anything. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a hair care slash skincare routine. Just me, like how I maintain my hygiene basically. Because in the past three months, I have really cleared up my skin. Like I've always had a good skin. I'll always get, but I like recently in the past year, I started breaking out a lot in my cheek area and around this area and like on my forehead sometimes. And it like got to a point where I was like, okay, this is actually bad. Like, and on my chin, like I did not like it. And then I did some research. I tried out so many different products because I have the most sensitive skin. I try using a product that everyone is like, this is my holy grail and I'll try it out and I will literally um, break into like hives from it. Like I just have really sensitive skin. So I did research, I figured out what my skin needed and it's pretty simple, but it's not super simple. Yeah, I guess it's pretty simple. Um, and I'm going to be telling you that. Same with my hair. So my hair's been through a lot. I first like got highlights like two years ago. Yeah, exactly two years ago. And then I decided to get a perm and that fucked up my hair. And then after the perm, I decided to dye it all back a dark brown, which is my natural color. But it ended up being like a black, which I didn't like. But anyways, then I ended up dyeing highlights back into my hair. Then that was enough. So then I ended up dyeing my hair ginger. And that just really like was the end to it all. My hair was fried. Um, <clears throat> So it was so bad that I decided, then I finally dyed my hair all back brown again. But like the, like in some lighting, you can see the dark color. I mean the light color still, but I'm just leaving it alone. And I recently, my hair used to be down to here. It was thin, but it was down to here. And just from all the damage, it got to like right here. And it was literally like two strands of hair that were this long. Cause I also got um, layers in my hair, which is the worst idea ever because layers make your hair so much thinner. Only get layers if you have thick hair, but anyways, then it was so damaged, my ends, like just my pattern was so bad, like it would be wavy and then it would just be pinned straight, that dead ends. So I was like, no. I decided to cut a lot of it. Now my hair is down to here. I was gonna cut it even shorter, but I was like, the guy, my hairstylist was like, no, you don't have to go that short because I hate short hair. So he cut it down to here. So now my hair is this length and I barely put heat on it. The last time I think I put heat on it was my birthday, which was two weeks ago. Um, but before, I just made the bed and she's ruining it. Um, but before then I hadn't dyed my hair or I mean done anything to my hair in a long time. So I'm doing minimal heat and I found products to help maintain my hair and get it strong again. And I'm starting to get my wave pattern back. I don't have curly hair, but I do have wavy hair. So that's what I use. This is all like, I haven't washed my hair since Saturday because I had it into uh, braided ponytails. And so this is like gel and hairspray that it's just been whatever. Anyways, so I'm gonna be showing you my hair care and my skincare routine and what has been helping me. So I'm first gonna start off with hair care. So <clears throat> for hair, I use the, for shampoo, I use the Keras, Keras, whatever, however you pronounce it, um, Curl Manifesto. So this is just like a really good hydration for your hair for, again, I don't have curls, but I have waves. So I use that on my wavy hair and it's been working great. I also did use the conditioner for the longest time, but I ran out. So I'm using a different conditioner right now. But the only thing I will say is just, it's very expensive, but I like the smell of it and it works. So that's the shampoo and then conditioner, which is the um, Bryo Geo, Bryo Geo, um, Don't Despair Repair conditioner and this is just what I'll use as a conditioner and then once a week I do a hair mask but I will show you guys my hair mask when I do it okay so I just uh 
shampooed my hair and washed my body and stuff. I didn't wash my face yet um, because I'm gonna show you guys that off, like here. But anyways, <clears throat> I didn't do conditioner. So I'll, I only wash my hair twice a week now, um, maybe three times, but never more than three times, but usually it's just like twice a week. Um, and so I'll use condition, normal conditioner once a week and then I'll use a mask that, um, the other time of the week. So I'm going to be using um, the Brio Go, Brio Geo, Brio Geo, um, Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. So I only do this, well, I try to do this once a week because you don't want like a protein overlord. So you don't, that just sounded like British or Australian when I said that, overlord, overlord. It sounded like an H2O. But I use, yeah, so you don't want to do it more than that. But I just take the uh, mask and I start at the roots here and I just go in through my hair. This has really like helped a lot of my hair because my hair, like I said, is dead. And I have like some pieces where it's like literally so dead. So this has been helping with that. Like if you have dead ends, but they're not like completely dead. You can still fix those with a good mask. Now this mask is a little bit on the expensive side as well, but like all products are gonna, if it's a good quality product, it's gonna be expensive. So, you know, you're just, you're kind of getting what you paid for. So if you have, or if you're paying super cheap, it's not gonna be that good of a mask. So that's why I just spent the money on the expensive one because I'm like, I know this is gonna be what's gonna heal my hair. All right, so after I put that all in my hair, I leave that in for 10 minutes. So I'll just put it in a cock clip. So I'll come back once it's all, and then after 10 minutes, I just wash it out. And then I start with the rest of the routine. Okay. Let's do the thumbnail. Okay, so I washed out the deep conditioner or the mask. Now I put it in a 100% cotton towel or not towel, a t-shirt just to let it dry a little bit. I'm going to show you guys my skincare routine. Now this routine, morning and night routine, I do it every single morning, every single night. Before I used to only wash my face at night. Now I do it every single morning. Um, this routine made my skin go from this to this okay now my skin's obviously not perfect but like for the most part it's pretty looks pretty good yeah um so if you have super skin sensitive skin like me then i would really suggest doing this y'all i'm telling you i tried everything i got paula's choice i got face masks i did everything and like either it was too strong for me or just didn't do this routine right here is what did it. If you really want to know what really cleared up my skin, wait till my nighttime routine, which will be like the next skincare thing. But yeah, so I usually wash my face um, in the shower at night and then in the morning I just use sink water. I use try to use warmer water. So I get my face wet. And then this is what I use, Cetaphil, um daily facial cleanser this is like the number one recommended and it's for sensitive skin which is what i have now i used to use this in high school because this is all my mom would buy and my skin was pretty damn clear in high school and then i started using cerave and i think just cerave like was just not the face wash was not good for me this stuff though is like because it's for sensitive skin and I have super sensitive skin. So this is what I use. So I just put it all over my face. I remember when I used to wash my face and I would just feel bumps right here. And I hated it and now I don't feel any. So that's how I like, you know. So the number one key I also heard is that you're supposed to rub in your um, face wash to where it's like this white consistency. See how it was clear when I poured it out? Um, or I pumped it out and now it's, I rubbed it in enough for it to be white because apparently that like activates it. I don't know if that's true, but that's just what I do. My hairline, all that good stuff, and then I wash it off. Okay, then I pat my face dry. Okay, 
I'm gonna take out this so that my hair can like normal dry now because it's not soaking wet anymore. Now, if my skin is super, if my face is super puffy that morning, like I didn't get a lot of sleep that night, then I'll put an ice cube to my face and focus on my under eyes and like my cheek area, my foreheads. Um, I heard that that's really good for like aging and stuff and that you should do that, but I only, I don't do that every morning because I'm not gonna go get an ice cube every single morning. Um, so I just do it when I feel puffy. I don't feel puffy today, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, I try to like do the whole ice cube, but I never end up doing it. Now, next is SPF. I used to never put moisturizer or SPF on my face ever, like ever, until recently. Um, and I don't know why I haven't used it for ever, but this is the SPF I use. You can really use any SPF, I think, but this is the one I got because it's like a nicer, It's like a nicer kind of um, SPF, so I like trusted it more. So it's kind of expensive and it's kind of small, so I don't know if I'll repurchase it, but I feel like I will just because I don't wanna, when I switch over products, that's when my skin is like, wait, I'm not used to this. So I feel like I need to keep buying this one because my skin's used to it. But this is the Lancome um, UV Expert um, sunscreen. It's just in 50, it looks like this. Um, but I mean, it's lasted me about, I want to say like, almost, I think it's lasted me about like two months. I don't use that much. I think that's why I use like literally that much. And what I do is I'll take it and I just put dot on the forehead, dot on the cheeks and a dot on the chin. And this is what's going to keep your skin um, non-wrinkly saves you from the sun even if it's winter and yeah that's all I do in the morning and if I need to I'll do the ice cube but that's it um so that is the skincare routine now I'm going to show you guys the rest of my hair care routine um and then you guys will see my nighttime and my nighttime is where it I will show you like literally my holy grail so um yeah oh next one more thing um I have whatever so <laughs> I have crusty lips like I'm just gonna say it. I do um, but I'll use this in the morning it's a lip mask it's called the Ilia it's an Ilia um, lip wrap but this is what I use in the morning I'll just put some on my finger like this and just put it in the lips and then throughout the day is when I use a lip oil. The lip oil is, I'll show you right now. Out the day, this is what I use. It's the NK Makeup um, Pure Lip Oil. I use this one in, this is the cocoa flavor. Um, but yeah, I use this throughout the day. It's, I, cause I like lip gloss, but lip glosses dry out my lips so bad. So I just use lip oil, which is just as great. It uh, looks just as great as a lip gloss. So yeah, now let's move on to doing the rest of my hair. All right, now I'm gonna move on to how I do my hair. First thing that I do is I use a, um, this is really small, but I use a wet brush when I first get out of the shower because you shouldn't use like a normal brush. I used to use like a wide tooth, to, a wide tooth comb brush, I think that's what it's called. But I just like wet brushes because they don't hurt. So start from the bottom, work your way to the top. Cause I'm so updates on my life is um, oh I got bangs. Um, you can't you didn't really see them in the beginning of the video, but you can kind of if you follow me on Instagram you've seen them. I decided to get bangs like at 12 o'clock one night. I was with my best friend and I was like I. Kind of, and I was looking, I was like, maybe I should get bangs. I wanted to do something different with my hair, but obviously I didn't want to dye it and I had just cut it short. So I was like, let me, let's try it. I was contemplating cause I didn't want to look bad, but my best friend was like, you can just like move them to the side if you don't like them. So we cut them um, and I'm obsessed with them. I don't ever like, I feel like I'm gonna, I like them a lot. So I feel like I'm gonna keep them for a while. So now that my hair is all brushed out, I then go in with my Hydrate and Repair um, leave-in conditioner from this Shea Moisture, Shea Moisture brand, and it smells really, really good. And I just put this all over my head. 
and this just makes sure I have the mo my hair has the moisture it needs and I really focus on those ends too because my ends are dead then after that I then go in with this pillow soft curls curling cream again don't have curly hair but I use it for my waves I use about that much because I have thin hair and I just put it in between my fingers and I rake it into my hair Then I go in with my Jelly Soft Curls. This is like a custard or a gel. It's a soft gel, so it's not super hard. And I go in with about like that much. I use more of this than the other one. And what I'll do is, it's soft, but I still like to make it like not so harsh. I'll put water on top of it and spray. Do the scrunching method. Okay, so once I do that, I kind of let it dry for a little bit. And if I want like more defined, to define more of the hairs, I'll take this, um, I forgot the name of this brush, but y'all know what this is. And I'll do mainly focus on the pieces in the front and I'll like brush out one and then I'll wrap it like this. This is just to define a few more and I wrap. This is what I blow dry with. I use a Revlon blow dryer and a Conair thing. I like this uh, this um, diffuser because the lines aren't so long so you can get pretty close to your root where, versus some of the, it's more like a bowl where some of the other ones are flat and like the you just can't get to your roots. So that's why I like this one. Um, that's why I got a new head because this came with the head but I didn't like it so I got a new one. Um, but I put it on a warm setting and then I do it on a low speed. I go dry this down, dry this, flip and dry for volume, flip and dry for volume, and then that's when I start going up. Okay, so this is my hair fully dried. It's kind of messy, but um, it takes about like an hour. Like I'll blow dry it and then I get lazy, so then I just let the rest kind of air dry. But it takes like an hour for it to all the air dry. See how it's like wavy-ish? Um, but after I do that, I try not to touch my hair for the rest of the day. And then I use this Moroccan oil. This stuff is smells so good. It's just it's more again on the pricier side like this little bottle was $16 but I just go like that and I just put it on the ends of my hair just so that it's not so frizzy um, and yeah that's it for my hair routine I'll pull out my bangs a little bit um, but yeah that is my hair routine and my morning skincare routine now I will show you guys later tonight my nighttime routine I'm gonna show you guys my nighttime um, skincare routine now. So this is what I do after I get out of the shower. I usually will wash my face in the shower and that's what I already did. So my face, I just use the same face wash. Now, for the rest of the routine, my hair looks crazy, but whatever. This is my holy grail. When I tell you my holy grail, like everyone has their product that help their skin go from A to B, from zero to 100, red to white, this is mine, okay? This is mine. It's the La Rocher Posay um, Effectler Duo. I saw this on TikTok and I normally don't buy stuff because I just see it as a TikTok because I'm like, they just want me to buy it, you know? But I was like, why not? Let me, I was at Target and I was like, let me just try it out. And I used it every single morning and every single night for two weeks straight. And I already started seeing a difference like four days into using this. Every single morning and every single night. After two weeks, my skin was completely cleared. This, I don't know what they put in it and what it does, but it helps. But so after I started using it for about like a month, my skin started getting dry. 
So I read once your skin starts getting dry, you should only use it like every other day or only once a day instead of like two to three times a day. Cause it says to use it two to three times a day. So now I only use it at nighttime. Um, that's it. But basically I'll put it on the sides of my face cause that's where I break out the most and like my cheek area and I'll rub it in, rub it all the way in. Same with this side. And then I'll do my chin because I break out there and I'll do my forehead right here because that's where I break out and a little bit on my nose maybe. Okay, literally that's it every single night. But if it's like pretty to start off with, use it every single morning and every single night. And then after like a month of doing that or like three weeks of doing that, then switch to just night or switch to every other day. Now. Since, like I said, this dries out your skin pretty heavily, you definitely need to put on a moisturizer after that. So this is the moisturizer I use. It's the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I've been using this for forever. So I'll just take that and I rub it all the way into my face and all the way down my neck. And then I'll just use that mask again. And that's it. That is my nighttime skin routine. Um, and that's basically my skincare routine and my hair care routine. How I got clear skin again and my road back to healthy hair. So I hope, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure, if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And I promise you, I'm going to be consistent back again on here. Um, but yeah, I, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.